All right, I've been here for three and a half hours digging, folks. Look at this little Watkins that just come out. Weird. First time I've seen one like that. Well, I might have seen another digger dig one, but first time I've dug one. Huh, screw top. Neato. Now check this out. See that right there? That's like the, a flow blue lid or something. And if that's all in one piece, that's a miracle. It seems like it is, but I'm going to dig it out and then I'll get you back up on once I extract it and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, I've got that piece pretty much pecked out. Let's go in and I'll pull it out with you guys watching. There it is. What the heck? No friggin' way. No way. That is all in one. Where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, I just get her going then. <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her going. <laughs> all right. A gorgeous morning here, folks. It's warming up real nice. I'm just heading into the huge old mega can dump here for another dig. I haven't been here for a while. I did post a video from here just this morning. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back into it. Still quite a bit of area left to dig. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Well, I'm just exploring around the area real quick here before I actually get into the pile, folks. And I'm up behind a rock here and I see right over on this side of it. If I can get over here. What a pile of little bottles all sticking out of the side of the bank here. Little liquor bottles, look at them. Huh. I'm going to keep looking around. So I just pulled all these ones up from right down in by that water there behind the rocks. I got a date off the bottom of one of them, looks like 1964. They're literally all through here, check this out. A big mound of them here too. This one's still got a label on it. Vodka. Wolfschmidt vodka. <laughs> Foil label. Neato. Oh. Oh, there's another one. Huh. Gordon. Gordon's dry gin. Little sample. Embossed sample. That's a neat little find. I'm going to have to scratch around in here. Looks like they were in a bag. There's another Gordon's one there. I think I'm definitely going to keep those Gordon ones. And any that might have a decent label on them. Wow, there's just a ton of them here. These are from the 60s. There's one there. Looks like a good one. Okay, I'll, I'll uh, shut you off for now. Meanwhile... All right, I'm in the heap here now, folks. First find, and I'm just on the edge of it. First decent find, I guess. Lighter. Oh, cool. It's got a horse on it. A horse and rider. Cool. 
Wow, nice. That is coming home with me. <laughs> Champion. All right. Beauty. I'm just moving some stuff around, folks. I look up here. I got a great big amber rib poison bottle up here. I must have just fired up there in the dirt. Last time I was here. Nice. Put that up here. Keeper. That's a big one, too. There's that thing there from the last time I was here. Too bad that was busted. Fireproof, made in Germany. Alright, I'm going to scratch right down in there. Okay, I think I got an ACL soda bottle right here. Crown top, it's still on there. Let's check it out. Canada Dry. I mean, that might clean up. Huh. That might clean up pretty good. The label looks good on it, but man, there's a lot of rust on it. And the ACL all looks to be there, so I might hang on to that one. Do a quick scratch here, see if anything else comes out. Look, there's another one. That one's broke, though. An embossed liquor bottle. Okay, viewers, just a couple quick things here. This Canada Dry Water, or Club Soda, the ACL is not holding up well at all on it, so I didn't bother cleaning it up any further. I'll probably just chuck that one in the bin. Secondly, this Champion Lighter has raised a question for me. I was looking at the base with the magnifying glass, and it says Certified Quality Controlled Japan. And my question is, for you viewers, if you know, is Controlled Japan the same as Occupied Japan? I tried Google searching it, and I couldn't get any results. So if you know, put it down in the comments below. And if it is the same, that would date this to 1945 to 1952. And uh, somebody was real proud of this one, because they held on to it for a while. The coating on the horse and rider here is all rubbed off. And it just uh, exists down in the grooves here. So somebody was carting that around in their pocket for a long time. <laughs> yep, nice lighter. I always like to have the camera rolling in case a good find comes out. But lots of times it's hard to set it up in a decent position. Where you can catch what you're scratching. Right here. I mean, I can catch the top stuff, but I'm not really seeing oh, what we got here. An old moose head can. One of those types. Tops on it. Pull tab. That might clean up. Hard to say with them things. It's pretty crusty. I mean, this side looks like it'd clean up pretty good, but this side here where that's all bubbled up, that indicates uh, it's rusted through pretty good. I'm sure I'll get some people arguing with me in the comments, but <laughs> I've cleaned a few of them up, I know. <laughs> a little bit what I'm talking about. <laughs> Here's a nice beer can. Unfortunately, even as good as that label is there on that side, this side here is roached. Hmm. Got a massive amber down here. Looks like a big jug. Pull that out. Holy jumpins. 
That's a big boy. No embossing at all on it, though. It's got to be a Javax or something, though, I would say. Huge bottle. Yes, sir. All right, I just peeled back a big old piece of ground here, roots and leaves and debris. And I uncovered this here. It looks like a root beer can. Look, here's a can right here with that top on it. I don't know what that is. But this one here, I can still see the label. Caught root beer. Oh, there's a big hole gone out of the side of it. Huh, that would have been nice. Anything else right here? There's a labeled one there. Terry's chainsaw oil. I've seen better days too. That little tin there. Muscade. Oh, folks, I almost didn't even see this. Look. See that right there? Small little pocket watch. All right. Nice. Glass is still in it and everything. Can't make out the time on it, though. Little tiny one. Very cool. See if I can get a picture here. Decent picture. Oh. Hold still now. Alright. So you know what folks? I just cleaned the face off and I see that now. That is not a pocket watch. That is a compass. First time I've dug a compass. <laughs> cool beans. Cool beans. <laughs> All right, gonna get you up real quick here, folks, because I just had a peek underneath this stuff. It looks like I got some oil cans here that might be in decent condition. Urban Velco. Yeah, that's in good condition. Huh. Nice. That one's sort of roached. There's a liquor bottle. Broken. Oh, what's this here? White rose. Power mower. Motor oil. Too bad that side's all crusty. A hole right up near the top of it. Those big tins like that are worth a fair bit of money. There's another superior oil. Anything else in here? And another one. If I had a god here ten years earlier, these cans would be in great condition. Another one. So far, nothing stellar, folks. One of these little extract bottles come out. I like these, I always take them. I think they got a registered date on the bottom, 1936, I think. Yeah. Oh, right here. This looks like a good soda bottle. Look at the ACL on that, that's a big one. 30 fluid ounce. Whoo, yeah. Oh yeah, tall soda. I think they're a local one. St. John, New Brunswick, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, so getting a couple of nice ACL bottles out of here. Look at that. Raw linseed oil. That's in good condition. Toronto elevators. All right. A couple good poles right there.
I see this thing here peeking out of the ground at me. Let's check this out. See it? The heck is that? A lamp? It is a lamp. <laughs> ah, you know, cord cut off it. Hmm. Nice pieces of glass, though, for sure. Person had a use for them, doing some crafts or something. Where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> okay, they're going then. <laughs> We got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show.